A bipolar gain amplifier is shown in this circuit, realized with one op amp. If the value of alpha op or this potential meter here, which is a variable resistor, is properly set, then we can realize both positive and negative gain for this circuit. Basically, V out over V in can be both positive, can be a positive or can be a negative value depending on what you set for alpha. To analyze this circuit and find the gain, we need to make few assumptions. So, assuming assuming that op amp, which is one op amp here, is in linear region, so it's uh, li linearly biased, so in linear region of operation. Assuming, uh, therefore it means it's not saturated. As, knowing that uh, it's a negative feedback, And of course, we are assuming the ideal op amp. So by ideal op amp, I mean that the input impedance for the two terminals, positive and negative, the input impedance is infinite. And for open loop op amp, then its gain is ideal, which means infinite. So ideal op amp assumed. Then uh, we conclude that virtual short Holds, which means, uh, which means, by virtual short, we mean the voltage at positive terminal is equal to voltage at negative terminal for this op amp. So you can see the voltage at positive terminal here and the voltage at negative terminal. Uh, they are now equal to each other, and then the voltage at positive terminal is a simple voltage division from V in. As you can see, we can write V in or V positive terminal is equal to a voltage division alpha R divided by R times V in. So it's obviously alpha times V in. Okay, so that's also the value of uh, the negative uh, voltage here. So I can just say uh, V negative is equal to V positive uh, is equal to alpha times V in. So that's an important outcome. Now, at this node, input uh, to negative terminal, where V negative is the voltage, I can write a KCL. So uh, write a KCL at uh, negative terminal, negative input terminal. So if we do that, you can see that we are dealing with uh, this scenario. So we are having, let me just show you with different color. So here we have a current flowing through R1, and uh, uh, there is no current flowing through the input terminal of op amp because we're assuming it's ideal op amp with infinite input uh, impedance. Therefore, no current flows through the input of op amp. That current is supposed to also go exactly to through the K times R1 and toward the output. So what I can write is uh, for my KCL at input negative terminal, I can write Vn minus V negative over R1, which means the current through R1. So Vn minus V negative over R1 should be equal to uh, V negative minus V out divided by KR1. So minus V out divided by K times R1. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, equation we just found here that V negative terminal equal to alpha V in. So let me just uh, write it here. So I'm going to use uh, from let's say equation one. So using equation one and substituting for V negative in this equation, I can write V in minus alpha times V in. And uh, one thing I can do is I can just multiply this whole thing by uh, R1, both side or K times R1. And what I get is uh, maybe just putting it this way as very quickly. So let me just put it this way. Okay. And uh, I can just write it now as uh, K times Vn minus alpha Vn equal to uh, 
uh, v negative, which is k, which is again uh, instead of v uh, v negative, we are writing alpha v in. So alpha v in minus v out. All right. So the last move now that we have everything as a function of v out and v in. So obviously we get v out is equal to. Uh, we have k times 1 minus alpha uh, times v in and minus alpha times v in. Uh, sorry, my bad. So just we need to be careful about how we, we write this. So I moved v out to the other side and then v in remains here. And then it's multiplied by um, alpha minus k times 1 minus alpha. OK, so in summary, what I got is v out over v in, which is the gain. So this is just a symbolic way of saying uh, the v in is amplified by a gain. And that gain is uh, equal to, that gain is equal to, uh, if you want to write it this way, alpha and then uh, it's 1 plus k, and then minus 1, minus k. Okay, so that shows uh, how things can be done. Um, for instance, if k is 1, then, um, so that is the gain. Let me highlight this, because this is the conclusion we wanted. So now, let's make some of the assumption. Uh, for instance, so for instance, if k equal to 1, then what we get is gain is equal to uh, 2 alpha minus 1. So uh, depending on what we said, let's say if the potentiometer or if this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, adjustable resistor uh, position of this uh, well, let's say selection point for the adjustable resistor says uh, if, uh, for example, you say alpha equal to uh, 1 over 4, then you realize uh, uh, the gain of minus 0.5. So actually it's an attenuator. If, for example, you set alpha equal to 2 uh, or 4, let's say, alpha equal to 4, sorry, alpha can't be, or alpha is a number between, my bad, alpha is a number between, obviously, so uh, it's, need to be, it's need to be highlighted that alpha is obviously a number between uh, 0 and 1. So that's the range for alpha. So if you say now alpha is equal to, say, maximum value, which is 1, then the gain of this circuit with this setup will be 1. So you can see that uh, in the scenario, in the example scenario, where I set k equal to 1, which is the ratio of this feedback resistor to input resistor, so I set it k equal to 1 as an example. Then in that scenario, playing with alpha, because the gain becomes 2 alpha minus 1, and then playing with alpha as a number between 0 and 1, as two example, alpha equal to 1 over 4 gave me a gain of point, negative 0 0.5 as a negative gain, and then alpha equal to 1 gave me a gain of 1. So you can see that gain can be, depending on what we set, gain can be a negative value or positive value. Of course, if you go with, uh, let's say, uh, k equal to 100 as another example. So let's say, for instance, um, let's, let's put it this way. So as another example, for instance, if... Uh, k equal to 100 now, this gain here, then the formula becomes gain is equal to, uh, of course, and this scenario it becomes uh, uh, 100, 1 alpha, and then minus 100. Okay, so you can see that if we set, um, for example, alpha to 0, then we get a gain of negative 100. And if we set alpha equal to, say, um, 1, then we get a gain of plus 1. So 
we can see that again negative gain and positive uh, scenario can be realized of course your uh, the degree of uh, flexibility is limited to just one programmable adjuster for register value. Uh, of course, we can come up with more complicated circuit in which we have more, uh, let's say, programmable parameters. Therefore, we have uh, more degree of freedom. I hope that this example is helpful.